what's up everyone, Eric Grassley, the guy with the eye here. I just want to make a quick video, first impressions, hands on, to show you what I got to replace my Sony a7 II, which died because of the whole thing. I'm actually looking more into street photography. My Nikon D750 is going to be my main shooter, but I wanted something that was more stealth and discreet, and this has been the most popular camera, the Ricoh GR2, for street photography. So I'm going to just take it out real quick, show it to you, and you know, it's a little hidden gem that not a lot of people know about, and maybe you're kind of shocked I'd go this route. Open this up, you know, and I caught this for a good price. Usually the camera is around seven or eight hundred dollars. Uh, I found it for around six hundred bucks, so it's not even a bad thing. I can't even open the damn front. After three painstaking minutes of trying to get that out, amazing security packaging, Rico. This is what it looks like inside. Literature, you've got warranty, power adapter, talks about the battery, a remote application. By the way, so you have to scan a QR code that links to their website to get access to their app. Like, it's not in the Android or iOS app store. You need this, so that's stupid. But that's one of the big improvements that they made from the GR1 to the GR2 was adding Wi-Fi, which a lot of stuff is saying that it's pretty much the same camera, but being that the case, that they're pretty much the same price as it is. You get a white sheet of paper so you can take notes on how to make a proper app. Uh, Rico camera, the thing that you're never gonna use. And then it comes inside right here. You're seeing this before I am. Hell, the accessories, are they underneath? So this is obviously the camera right here. Super light, holy crap. The accessories are underneath. I've never seen packaging like this before. You pull it up, there's a battery, small. Yeah, I ordered another one that's on the way. This is a wrist strap. There is a, is this a battery charger? I'm sure what this is. So this is a, okay, so this is a charger port. Um, I don't know what this part is. Oh, it comes with a plug. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So you can actually plug it into a wall, you just don't have to do it by a computer. You do something like that, plug it in, goes the USB, which is more convenient than I thought. But let's get to the camera. Sliding it out right here, a lot of you guys and girls aren't going to be impressed with the way it looks because it's meant to be simplistic. But this is it right here. And first impressions of holding this camera, it is super freaking light. This is absolutely crazy. Um, you know, and it's very simplistic in the way it looks. There we go. Something like that. Big bada boom. It's dark, it's stealthy, and it's why I wanted it. And the whole purpose of a camera like this is to be more one-handed. So that way when you're walking on the streets, you can just like, you know, look up. There's no viewfinder. There are, uh, you know, adaptable things that you can put on here. There's like a $200 eyepiece that you can put on here that you can actually view if you need. But when you're on the street, you really just want to set it and forget it. So I'm going to be talking a lot more about this camera. And you'll see a review when I take it into the city and really do stuff with it. But I wanted this a lot for street photography. If you follow my Instagram, you've seen that I really like take pictures of, you know, street stuff and buildings and architecture. So just something I've really gotten into and just something I want to explore more. But first impressions is this thing is super freaking light. Pretty cool. And the fact that it's just all one hand, it is great. This also does do video. This is a crop sensor camera, the Ricoh GR2. It's well highly known that a lot of people, uh, especially street photographers, love something like this because of its superior imaging quality and stealth and portability and everything like that. Eric Kim, one of big recommendations he's ever made in regards to something like this. We will see what it does for every anything. See if I even like it, who knows? Maybe I won't, I'll go to something else. This is what I'm going with, the Ricoh GR2.